What's up, everybody? Welcome to this podcast. I want to review, or at least give my opinion, on uh, Elimination Chamber today on the show. WWE booking at its best, ladies and gentlemen. They gave a WWE title to a man who probably didn't even deserve to be WWE champion in the first place. Um, well, this time around at least, because he shouldn't have had the friggin' money in the bank briefcase. He didn't deserve the briefcase, quite frankly, but anyway. I mean, he wins the briefcase from Otis, of all people. And now, God knows what they're doing with Otis now. Apparently he's turned heel. And now they put the belt back on him. And this is what I don't understand. But let's get into the opinions of what I'm going to do. I, I watched it this morning. Uh, I'll get the results up. Right now. I watched it this morning. I watched it back this morning anyway. Um, apparently, June, there was a triple threat match supposed to be with Riddle, Bobby Lashley and Keith Lee. But Keith Lee got took out. For some reason. What reason was that? I don't know. But Keith Lee got took out of the equation. Um, I don't know why he did. Or he got took out. But my guess is... I mean, people think, oh, Vince McMahon's not high on him and everything. No, I, I, it has to be an injury. It's got to be an injury. Okay? It's got to be an injury. Uh, I mean... I don't know what's going to happen next, but um, they had a battle royal, which John Morrison, of all people, ended up winning. And he ended up going in as the replacement for Keith Lee, which I'll get to later. I watched the first match, which was the Elimination Chamber for the Universal title. Um, I thought they would have done this match first and then do the Elimination Chamber, or do the Roman Reigns match last, but they didn't. Brian won the Elimination Chamber and went straight into the Universal title. Roman Reigns getting his own way as, as usual and beats Daniel Bryan. I mean, it was a great match, the Elimination Chamber. I mean, when was the last time you saw Kevin Owens do a moonsault off the top of a pod on the people? Eh? So, I'm glad Brian won. But I'm not glad of the way this was all set up in respect to Roman meeting the winner straight after the match kind of day. I'm not happy with that. I was, I thought that was ludicrous, but it adds to Roman Reigns' his heel persona and everything. At the end of the day, I didn't like it, if I'm honest. But Roman ends up beating Daniel Bryan, and yes, he celebrates in the ring and then turns around and walks right into a spear from Edge. And it seems it's on, ladies and gents. Roman Reigns, Edge, WrestleMania. And I'll tell you this right now, and I'm making a prediction right here. You all know what's going to happen at WrestleMania. And if you don't, you're either ignorant or stupid. Either way, you know what's going to happen. Edge is going to be your new Universal Champion. By the time... Okay, by the time... Monday, April 12th comes along. Monday, April 12th. Comes along, although it is a SmackDown, it is a SmackDown title, isn't it? So I'm guessing either Monday, April twelfth, or I guess since it's a SmackDown title, Monday, uh, Friday, April sixteenth, comes along, you will see on SmackDown Edge carrying the Universal title as well. I pr predict that right now. Triple threat match with Riddle, Bobby Lashley, and Morrison. Oh, boy. Riddle is now your new US champion after taking advantage of... I guess John Morrison, what John Morrison was trying to do, but he took, but Riddle took advantage of it and uh, whacked Lashley with the uh, crutch, MVP's crutch, and uh, got the victory through that way well he, he didn't pin Lashley he pinned Morrison instead um, 
and won the US title. So I'm guessing now, considering what Lashley did in the money of the ba in the uh, WWE title match uh, after attacking Drew to set up Miz coming down to cash in, I'm guessing it's going to be Lashley probably getting a rematch. I would probably think WrestleMania, maybe before that. Lashley won't be facing Drew McIntyre for the WWE title. You can't anyway because he's not the champion, but he won't be facing Miz. I'll get to what I think is going to happen with the Miz later in a bit. I am, but Riddle is your US champion. I am very glad that the women's tag team title match ended with uh, Nia Jackson, and Shayna Baszler winning. I did not want to see this match between, or this potential match between Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair at WrestleMania for the SmackDown title. You know it's going to happen. They're building it. You can, you can clearly see they're building it. I did not want to see Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair have a tag team title match. You know, tag team champion versus tag team champion. That's been blown out of proportion way too many times down the road. Eddie and Ray did it at one WrestleMania. Hell, Sean and freaking John Cena did it at WrestleMania at one point as well. The whole thing, it, it, it is not good. And I'm very glad that Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair did not win that title in that respect. But uh, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler are your women's tag team champions. And I would probably guess they're going to defend the belts at WrestleMania as well. And yes, the WWE title, I knew Drew was going to retain. Uh, Drew was going to retain. I would have had Sheamus win it and then had Drew face Sheamus at WrestleMania. Just saying. Just saying. I would have had Drew face, uh, you know, Sheamus win the... I would have had Sheamus win the title here and then I drew face Sheamus at WrestleMania. You know, makes more sense in that respect, but anyway. But then Lashley came out and beat up Drew McIntyre and then Miz came down and cashed it in. Now, I did not like this because, like I say, Miz is... Miz did not deserve to be a WWE champion. This time around, at least. Uh, fair play to him winning it. But he did not deserve it, in my opinion. Heck, he didn't even deserve to carry the money in the bank briefcase because he won it because apparently they gave up on Otis. Because Otis won the money in the bank, but apparently they gave up on Otis. So that's why Miz ended up carrying around money in the bank. But the only way... I, I, I figured this out this morning when I, when I woke up and saw this. And I looked on the internet for the dirt sheets and everything. Maybe they're doing this to allow Drew to win a championship at WrestleMania in front of a crowd because apparently the crowd's going to return at WrestleMania. So my guess is they will probably have Drew win the title back at WrestleMania because, yes, he did win the title at WrestleMania. He beat Brock, but it was in an empty arena. You know, it was in an empty arena match. So I would probably think... They're going to go down that road. Or they can do this. Considering the fact that Miz is rumoured to be in a tag team match at WrestleMania. With him and Morrison taking on uh, Damien Priest and Bunny. This rapper. Because apparently Bunny's going to be wrestling at WrestleMania. And he ain't wrestling Miz for the WWE title. Let's get that clear. So I would probably think either tonight or next week. Drew will probably cash in his rematch. And then he'll win the title back. And then Drew will face whoever the champion's going to be, whoever's going to wrestle him at WrestleMania. Blah, blah, blah. That's what I think is going to happen. If they still are going to go with this tag team match with Bunny and Damian Priest against Miz and Morrison. You know, you know it's been building, because considering what's happened. You know, this whole thing started at the Rumble anyway. So... I think that's generally going to happen. And I think if they do the rematch either tonight or next week, I would probably think that May that Bonnie will probably get involved and cost Miz the WWE title. Or Damien Priest, one or the other. But I would probably think Bunny will probably do that more. I would, I would, I would, I can see that happening either tonight or next week. 
McIntyre will cash in his money in the bank, uh, cash in his rematch for the WWE title, face Miz, get the belt back, and then Miz and uh, Bunny will probably cash. You'll probably uh, cost Miz the WWE title, and then that'll be led to their their tag match at Wrestle at WrestleMania. Should that go ahead, of course. But uh, yeah, I could see. I don't see. I would probably think Lashley would face McIntyre. Or maybe they will save it until WrestleMania. Maybe they won't go with this tag match. They thought, fuck it. You know? Unless they're going to have have Miz wrestle twice in one night. Or maybe they'll have Morrison take on Bunny one-on-one. At the end of the day, Bunny's going to be a part of WrestleMania whether we like it or not. And apparently he's going to be wrestling at WrestleMania whether we like it or not. So that's the way I'm seeing this at the end of the day, but Miz can't have that title for long, considering what's going to happen. Uh, but WWE, as far as the WWE title goes, they, they fucked up the whole thing. They fucked up the WWE title for, for WrestleMania. Because everybody thinks it was going to be Drew versus whoever. Now it's going to be Miz versus... Miz probably faces Drew again. I don't know. I'd like to know uh, WrestleMania... Let me get on Google. Right. WrestleMania matches 2021. Uh, let's have a look. There's got to be some something going down at WrestleMania. You know, I would be surprised if Brock came back. And then they had the rematch at WrestleMania. You know, Brock being the champion again. They had the thing, the goal now. I won't be surprised. Yeah, the rumored matches. Yeah, yawn first. I mean, I've got to say to you that says the rumored match was Drew McIntyre versus Edge. And we all know that wasn't going to happen. I think they just predicted that themselves, quite frankly. Uh, right, predicted match card. Come on, yep. Roman Reigns versus Edge. Yeah, it's it, it it's rumored down here. Look, it's even got on this side here the Bleacher Report. Damian Priest versus ba- and Bad Buddy versus Miz and Morrison. And. The McIntyre Sheamus thing is still going down, but that's that's going to mean nothing now, considering what they did. You know, going into uh, you know going into WrestleMania, you know, going into the Elimination Chamber, because in all honesty, McIntyre should not have defended the WWE title at, in Elimination Chamber anyway. They should have had a number one contender match for the elimina- in the Elimination Chamber. The winner faces McIntyre at WrestleMania. Or whether the WWE champion is at WrestleMania. You know? That's what they should have done. McIntyre should not have defended the WWE title. If he was going to defend it, have him in a one-on-one match. He should not have defended it in the Elimination Chamber. If they were going to do the the Sheamus and and McIntyre match, they should have had it right there, boom, there and then. But they didn't. You know, the Battle Royal made no sense on the pre-show. Then again, I don't watch the pre-show because I don't care about the pre-show. But, yeah, at the end of the day, I think it's going to be the bottom line at the end of the day. I think Miz has won the WWE Championship now. I think either tonight or next week on Raw, McIntyre will probably... Cash in his rematch, and then it'll be him and McIntyre. It'll be Miz and McIntyre. McIntyre loses. Bad Buddy will probably get involved and cost Miz the title. McIntyre gets his belt back. Even that, or they'll do it at WrestleMania. You know, but that I I I can't see the Miz defending the championship at WrestleMania. I can't see a Miz and Drew McIntyre match at WrestleMania. I just can't see it. You know, unless they get, unless they have somebody else involved, I don't know, but I, I can't see the Miz and McIntyre at WrestleMania. I'm sorry, it it doesn't fit, and it makes no sense because, like I say, 
Miz shouldn't have had the title to begin with. No, uh, shouldn't have had the money in the bank to begin with. He didn't deserve it, but I just can't see Miz and McIntyre at WrestleMania. That that match is going to take place either tonight or next week on Raw. Miz will lose. You you'll have body. It'll, it'll add to the tag team, the potential tag team match that's going to happen. Bonnie will cost Miz the championship. McIntyre will be champion, and then McIntyre will defend it against whoever the fucking thing is tonight. But Miz, I can't see Miz having that belt for long. Can't see. Not going to happen. Overall, I would say Elimination Chamber, if I was going to give it a rating, I would give it an 8 out of 10. It was actually okay. But uh, it was spoiled at the end, in my opinion, with Miz cashing in. Nobody wants to see. Nobody wanted to see that, so I would probably think. But I, I, I genuinely believe they're going to go with Miz McIntyre rematch either tonight or next week, and then Miz loses the belt then, and then McIntyre gets his belt back, and then it goes on to WrestleMania. I can't see Miz and Ma I can't. I just can't see Miz and McIntyre at WrestleMania. Just it, it, no, it it just doesn't fit. You know, Edge and Roman at WrestleMania, I could see that because Roman asked for the match himself, not just in storyline mode. But he was in an interview one time. He said, "I want to wrestle Edge." Boom, he got his wish. And we all know what's going to happen in that match at WrestleMania. Edge is going to win. Okay, and if anybody thinks Roman Reigns is going to win, you're an idiot. I'm sorry. Okay, Red Roman has had his path of destruction up until now, and at WrestleMania, he's going to lose it. It's simple as that. The Travel Chief ends at WrestleMania. Period. I believe. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in for this. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. If so, like, share, and subscribe. And let me know what you think down in the comments, whether you're watching this on Facebook or YouTube. Let me know what you're thinking about this down in the comments. If you're watching this on Twitch as well, let me know. Let me know. What did you think? Do you think it's going to be Miz and Morrison, uh, Miz and Morrison against Damian Priest and Bunny at WrestleMania, or do you think McIntyre and Miz? Let me know. But yeah, eight out of ten for it. Stay safe, guys. I'll see you next time on another podcast. Peace.